I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, March the 24th, 2024. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Examining Our Faith as the title of the Spring 2024 Lesson Series and it is a series of lessons that encourages the learner to turn the challenges of life into opportunities for growth in faith, discusses the measures of faith and the range of faith, and it encourages believers to continue to stand on faith in their daily lives. The Examining Our Faith Lesson Series is categorized into three units or groups of lessons, and we are in Unit 1, and we are talking about Faithful versus faithless. So either we are full of faith or we are in need of more faith. <clears throat> the title of our fourth lesson in the Unit 1 Spring 2024 Lesson Series is titled When the World is Against Us. And it uses Stephen as an example of how we are to allow the Holy Spirit to use us. The key verse comes from Acts chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, and it reads, Opposition arose, however, from members of the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and these were Jews of Syrian and Alexandria from northern Africa, as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia Minor, who began to argue with Stephen, but they could not stand up against the wisdom the Spirit gave him as he spoke. So, Stephen relied on the Holy Spirit to speak through him. Now, the title of our lesson today, When the World is Against Us, is from the book of Acts, also called the Acts of the Apostles. And the author of Acts was Luke, the physician, who also wrote the Gospel of Luke. In the book of Acts, Luke records the order of events in Jesus' life, ministry, and the story of the early Christian church. After Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension to heaven, the disciples waited in Jerusalem for God's gift as promised by Jesus. Now, this gift was the Holy Spirit, which gave power to the apostles and early Christians to carry on Jesus' work. So the apostles taught the people about Jesus and his message, the message that people should confess their evil deeds to God and invite God into their lives. As part of their message, the apostles and early Christians did wonderful things by the power of the Holy Spirit. As the church grew, it attracted Jewish converts from other Roman and Greek provinces, which caused cultural conflicts in the faith between the Jews from Palestine or Jerusalem and Jewish converts from other areas of the Roman Empire. As a result, the apostles faced challenges directly managing slash overseeing the church. In order to concentrate on the ministry, the apostles delegated responsibility to seven men to address specific issues related to worship, gatherings, and acceptable expectations of how they would treat each other or should treat each other. And during this period, a conflict arose regarding the treatment of widows as a cultural issue. And the priest Stephen was appointed to address this issue, which brings us to today's lesson. There are two summary lesson points for today. A formidable witness, and that's from Acts chapter 7, verse chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. A marked witness, and that's from Acts chapter 6, verses 12 through 
15. The passage for the lesson today revolve around the key words faith, wisdom, and apostle. And we know that faith is the complete trust, assurance, belief, or confidence in God. It is the faith of Stephen in the face of persecution in today's lesson. Wisdom, the ability to apply experience, knowledge, and understanding to produce good judgment. It is the God-given wisdom of Stephen in today's lesson. Apostle is a messenger or one sent on a mission and usually referred to the 12 disciples chosen by Jesus. They are the early church leaders after Jesus' ascension into heaven in today's lesson. Our first summary point, a formidable witness from Acts chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. And in these passages, Luke records the witness of Christ of the Holy Spirit working within Stephen and how powerful Stephen preached that he was seized by his enemies. And he goes on to read that so the word of God spread, the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Now Stephen was a man full of God's grace and power, and he performed great wonders and signs among the people. In other words, Stephen employed a very powerful use of the Holy Spirit in his preaching. Opposition arose, however, from the synagogue of the free men, as they were called, and these were the Jews of northern Africa, provinces of Cyrene and Alexandria, as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia Minor, who began to argue with Stephen, creating a conflict based upon the issue of the widow's treatment. But they could not stand up against the wisdom that the Spirit gave him as he spoke. But they could not stand up. Then they secretly persuaded some men to say, we have heard Stephen speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. So they could not defeat Stephen on his faith. So they had to make up charges against Stephen. Now, the second summary point is practice obedience, and that's from Acts chapter 6, verses 12 through 15. And in these passages, Luke records the blasphemy charges against Stephen and how Stephen reacted in his faith. He says that they stirred up the people and the elders and the teachings of the law. They seized Stephen and brought him before the Sanhedrin Council, which is the equivalent of the Supreme Court. And they produced false witnesses who testified that Stephen never stopped speaking against the holy place, which was a temple, and against the law of Moses. And he says, for we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place, meaning the temple, and change the customs Moses handed down to us. And he goes on to say, all who were sitting in the Sanhedrin council looked intently at Stephen, because I'm sure they were looking for his response. And the response that they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. So from that, we are to understand that God had placed his mark on Stephen and he had shown him to be an angel and that Stephen was martyred and would go to heaven. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, March the 24th, 2024. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.